Welcome to Mike Item Creator, the ultimate script that lets you create and customize items exactly the way you want without writing a single line of code. With this tool, you can both create new items and modify existing ones with ease. Mike Item Creator includes 14 powerful features to help you bring your items to life. And in this video, we're going to explore each of them together. Let's get started. We'll begin with animations. Simply select the item you want, click on Add Animation, and enter the animation dictionary and name you'd like to use. You can also choose how long the animation should last or allow the player to cancel it by pressing a key you've configured. Additionally, there's an animation list button where you can browse the full list of 5M animations to make your choice even easier. Once you're ready, just click save, use the item, and your animation will work instantly. No restarts required. Now, let's move on to the attach prop section. To show you how it works, we'll continue using the same item as before so you can see how different features can be combined on a single item. Click on add prop and simply enter the name of the prop you want and the bone where you want to attach it. Once you've selected the prop and bone, click Test. The menu will close automatically, allowing you to position the prop using your keyboard arrows and mouse. When you're happy with the position, press Enter to save the prop's coordinates. Remember, at the bottom, you'll find a complete list of GTA props and bones to help you choose. Then, just hit Save, and now, whenever you use the item, the prop will appear exactly where you placed it. It's never been this easy. Now, let's move on to visual effects. Select the item you want and click on Add Visual Effect. Once inside, open the list to browse all available GTA effects and choose the one you like. Next, set the duration for how long you want the effect to last. There's also a preview button at the bottom so you can see exactly how each effect looks before saving. Once you're happy with your selection, just save the item, use it, and you'll see the visual effect applied instantly. All right, now let's move on to walking styles. Select the item you want, click on Add Walking Style, and a full list will appear where you can choose the style you like. After that, set the duration for how long you want the walking style to last. Click Save, and when you use the item, the walking style will be applied instantly. Once the time runs out, your character will automatically return to the normal walk. Now let's move on to Place Prop. Just like before, select the item you want and click on Add Place Prop. Enter the name of the prop you'd like to place and simply hit Save. That's it. Now, when you use the item, you'll be able to place the prop wherever you want. Everything is fully synchronized and networked across all players. Plus, you can remove the prop anytime by pressing the key you've configured. Now, let's move on to the health system. Go to Add Health, choose the amount of health you want to give, and click Save. When you use the item, that amount of health will be instantly added to your character. Next, we have the armor system. Go to Add Armor, select the amount of armor you want to give, and click Save. When you use the item, the armor will be instantly applied to your character. Now, let's move on to the hunger and thirst system. Select the item you want, click on add food slash thirst, and set the exact amount of food and drink you want the item to restore when it's used. This way, every time a player uses the item, their hunger and thirst stats will increase automatically. Once you've chosen the values, just click Save, and it's ready to go. Now, let's move on to the command section. With this feature, you can make any command execute automatically when the item is used. Simply click on Add Command and type the command you want. For example, slash me eats the burger. Once saved, every time the item is used, the command will be triggered instantly.
Next, we'll move on to scenarios. Click on Add Scenario and type in the scenario you want, along with the duration. There's a button below where you can browse the full list of available scenarios. When you use the item, the chosen scenario will be applied automatically. Now, let's move on to the clothes section. Click on Add Clothes, where you can choose the outfit you want to apply when the item is used, whether it's for a male or female pad. We also have handy buttons to copy the current outfit, making it easier to set up your clothing configuration. Once saved, using the item will automatically apply the clothes you've selected. Now, let's move on to the webhook section. Click on Add Webhook and enter the webhook URL you want to use. Then, whenever the item is used, a message will be sent automatically to your Discord channel containing details like the Discord ID, Steam ID, Rockstar License, coordinates, the item's name, and even a screenshot. Perfect. Now, let's move on to particles. Click on Add Particle, then select the asset name and the particle effect you want to use. Finally, set the scale of the effect and click Save. Remember, there's a button at the bottom where you can view the full list of GTA particle effects to help you choose. Once saved, when you use the item, the particle effect will appear instantly. Now, let's move on to superpowers. Go to Add Superpowers, where you can activate different abilities and set their duration. You can choose from Super Jump, God Mode, Invisibility, Fast Run, and Teleport. Once you've selected the powers you want, they'll all activate together when the item is used, lasting for the time you've configured. For Teleport to work, you just need to set a waypoint on the map, when the timer runs out, your player will be teleported exactly to that point. Now, let's move on to the Add Restriction section. We'll start with the cooldown. Click on Add Cooldown and set the duration you want. Once added, after using the item, the player won't be able to use it again until the cooldown time has passed. Next, we'll set up the job restriction. Go to Add Job Restriction, and there you can select the job name and the minimum rank required to use the item. If the player doesn't belong to that job, or their rank isn't high enough, they simply won't be able to use the item. And finally, we have the zone restriction. Click on Add Zone, where you can set the coordinates and radius of the zone where the item can be used. If the player is outside this area, the item won't work. To make it easier, there's a button that automatically grabs your current coordinates.